the latest top tips, reviews and advice, please subscribe below. Hello and welcome to Atwalls Outdoors with me, Mike. Telling you guys a bit of a review video on a product from Outdoor Revolution. So with me here today, I've got the Outdoor Revolution Airedale 9 DSE. So kind of the Airedale range has been in the Outdoor Res range for a long time. Uh, it's kind of almost their flagship model to a certain degree, certainly when it comes to polyester materials. The 9 really has actually completely transformed kind of what people's perceptions on being a podded tent really is about. What you can actually now find is because you've got pods on either side, so you just have separate living areas, but you still have a very generous sleeping, uh, sorry, main living area and a front awning area, which usually was also the kind of fallback on the design of a pod, is that your main living area isn't quite as big as it could be. So what we have here is obviously the latest version of the Airedale 9, um, and it's really quite, there's a few new features they built onto it to bring it up to spec. Uh, and really, again, just improve on what they already was a good tent. So those first two things that I will mention are is the fact we've now got the side pods, which are double, double the width normally, are basically inflatable. So it brings it in line with the new Kalahari 9 DSV PC, which is essentially is a polyester, polycotton version of this tent. So they share the same sort of floor plan and designs, but basically the PC has a few extra features in its arsenal, as well as the material that you get with it. So with this in comparison to say the 7, is a make a smaller version of this, well, same thing, but without the double side pod on the side we can see the camera at. We've still got the one on the opposite side and we've done a separate video, you can check out that as well. So what we have here is um, Outdoor Revolution's 230 HDE material, runs around about the 150 denier mark, 4,000 mil waterproof rating. So it's a really nice, strong, robust polyester material, something they've had for a number of years now, and it's been very much kind of proven in that sense. We've got air flame, air, air flame, air frame system, which is really nice. So each beam's done individually, and you can see from my own Atwalls pitching and packing video how quick, simple, and easy it really is to do. I've done this model on my own in approximately about, I think it's about 13 minutes from start to finish, which for a tent as monstrous as this, I think is really, really a good option. You have a lifetime warranty on the tubes itself, and you've got um, a really nice dynamic airspeed tube, so you can get the air in and out quite easily. And it's actually got a pressure release part as well, so if you have a day like today where it's quite warm and the air expands inside, it's going to let some of that air out for you, so you haven't got to worry about that. What we have here is almost a free zone tent. Sleeping, living, and a front awning area, completely enclosed. But you've got the flexibility and versatility to kind of do what you want with it. We've got a brow canopy on into the main sort of front section, which is something you don't get with the seven uh, model of the Airedale, um, and it allows you to come in and out of here as well. So on a rainy day, you can come in here, and water come down, distribute yourself around, and you haven't got to worry about bringing that wetness inside with you. We've got webbing straps located around the base as well, so you get extra tension when you need to. Uh, guy ropes, which have easy adjusters, so again, you can uh, adapt that a little bit more. Storm straps, a pair of them come included, basically to brace the front, but you can buy an additional pair to brace the back if you want to really get that roof looking extra taut. A zip located on the front here will allow you to buy an extra extension if you wish to make it even bigger, why not? And it's, it equates to about the whole front again on the front of the tent, and that's a really quite nice option. We've got tinted windows located as well, so it helps to give a little bit of privacy um, when you need to. And the front door um, allows you can to open, completely open it up if you really wanted to, but you have the flexibility of kind of opening it how you wish. So you can open it sort of a third, two thirds, or fully open, and you go from right to left or left to right, so you have lots of flexibility there. You also have additional zip pullers that allow you to drop it down and create a little kind of veranda kind of effect. In fact, it's probably easier from the inside. Do, do, do. So you can create your little veranda quite nice and neatly. So have the airflow in, but I keep sort of the dogs and everything like that. And you've got little retaining clips located as well. So it makes life easier when you come to zip it up, as you can see here. So one thing to mention, which is a big change, which I will show you, is there's a new ground sheet built into the front section. So what we'll do is I'll just emulate what we can do with the front door. So we can bring the door, like I said, sort of open. So we can go kind of 
one third, two thirds, three thirds. And there's actually a physical zip on the bottom of this to make it completely enclosed. So you really make it feel like an enclosed living area you wanted to. The zip actually contradicts to what I said in the seven video, does go right to left or left to right. So you can choose what you wanted to. Just in that particular um, product, because it is kind of a pre-production sample, didn't have that additional function. But you can take that down, of course, unpeg that, chuck it in the bottom, then you have this really nice big open canopy. Now the front section has the benefit of this new ground sheet, which creates you a bit of an overlap, so it feels completely sewn in, but you have Velcro overlapping it. So if you still want that kind of wet, dry area and have things drip down into the grass rather than the ground sheet, you can more than happily do that as well. But I'll tell you what, let's kind of have a little bit of a rotate the camera around look directly down the front of the tent and talk for a load more features that the Air Dell 9 has to offer. So now we're inside the tent, you can probably appreciate for just the sheer width we've got in here. You know, really nice and wide, about four and a half meters wide, which is boastful in terms of that. And like I said, from a floor plan, it pretty much emulates the, or, or copies the original kind of 7SE. Decent amount of depth, you can more than happily put like a cooking stove or something in here or have furniture. And because you get that more sealed in front with this new ground sheet, like I said, it becomes more living area based. Um, so it works really quite nicely. I would say cook them all this side because it's kind of orientates itself with. With this panel being to living area being fixed, it creates almost like a nice little bit of dead space here, as well as you've got the ventilation point with the mesh. So you have the airflow, so any fumes or anything that you're producing goes directly out of that. But of course you can seal it up from the inside as or when you wanted to. Throughout the whole tent, you've got zip curtains, so it's a really nice thorough point, so you can get ultimate coverage and bring it down, up and down, you know, halfway or fully up, depending on what you really want for it. So again, you can have it halfway, so you just have the ventilation point covered, or of course, fully up to get the ultimate privacy and coverage. And there's a nice kind of pattern to that as well. We have, um, the beams I mentioned on the outside are kind of really nice, big oversized, so you can certainly see from here, they're in a nice chunky kind of bit. In the front section, we've also got a hanging point for a lantern if you wanted to. So again, you can I said, bring that living area a bit further out. As we go into the divisional door, we've got a, a no kind of lip between the two sections, so it flows really nicely. And same for actually the front, it drops down so you have easy access for wheelchairs uh, as well as kind of push chairs, anything on wheels. The main door that goes into the main section opens back and goes about to sort of, you know, in the middle part. This panel's fixed with a ventilation built into it. And again, you have zip curtains to get that automatic privacy if you wanted to. And the same goes for this side here as well. Difference being is this actually fully opens up. So what you can do is unzip that back, zip it out along the bottom, unclip it, and that'll then roll nice and neatly into the side part. So it just means that essentially then you open up and you have an easy, nice flow into your main kind of living area. As we have it in situ at the moment, we have a, a lounge liner, like a roof liner in there to sort of help sort of with reducing the heat, but also more from a condensation point of view, you can have a look at that. We've got a separate video talking about the benefits of having like a, an internal roof lining. Beams, as I mentioned, nice and chunky, and they're kind of a bit more they're nice and upright. I'm about six foot two, admittedly, with the roof liner in place. Without fit, I can stand up probably just about in the corner there, not 100% next to the beam, but it helps to get furniture and stuff a bit closer to there. One thing you'll notice in comparison to the seven is when you come to the main living area, you have a mesh door located on the right hand side. And then on the left, the mesh door where it would normally, well, external door where it would normally be is then your double um, bedroom, double, yeah, double person bedroom, the extra. So when you were talking about the SE, double side extensions, that's one side extension, that's the other side extension there. A bedroom can also be put directly into the kind of main living area, but it will pretty much take up the whole entrance and leave you about that much space. So really you only put it for the night time, if that at all. Low level ventilation beneath the window on this side as well to help the air flow, but you still got that sort of tint window and obviously zip curtains as previously mentioned. Full mesh doors could be the main source of air directly in, and of course you can leave those panels in to allow that airflow to come directly in as well. It's worth mentioning there's not actually a mesh door on the external door where the brow canopy is in the front awning section, but when you go up to the PC version, you do get that with the Kalahari. Double, uh, the other side pod, which we've not mentioned, one comes with a double bedroom as standard with the nine. This one you can buy an additional bedroom. So really, even though it technically is a nine berth, you can make this a 12 by buying an extra, uh, sorry, 11, by making an extra two berth bedroom additionally, or 
13 if you want to, but it would be cramped as you like. You haven't got enough room for 13 people in here, to be fair. Again, you can use Doubles Up as a storage section, which I think for me, because you've got the bedroom already on that side, works really nice and neatly. And there's an external door that goes outside, as there is with the bedroom on here, and I'll bring the camera in just a second. The main bedroom section at the back runs as really like a seven, seven people. For me, I say it's a much more comfy uh, sort of six. A 160 in the middle, a 140 and a 120. So it's a slightly, they are sized to a crate. Your main sort of uh, master bedroom, as I'm going to call it, is going to be centralised. And then you can use to put the kids or other adults, wherever you want, in the other ones as well. A slightly deeper depth as well for camp beds. So you should be able to get them just about in, even regarding kind of the overall slope in here. The inners, for example, again, you've got zip all the way through and it stores down to a little pocket, a little hanging point for a lantern in each individual bedroom and a little storage pockets down here as well so you can declutter the main part of the tent. The two end ones have its own little zip at the bottom so you have mains coming directly into them. Uh, and I'll tell you what, let's pick the camera up and kind of actually see them in the flesh for you. Okay, doke. So... First thing I'll probably note is actually that sort of depth on that uh, side part, really not quite nice. The brow canopy uses a fiberglass pole, so again, gives you a main kind of entrance to come in, and then you're into the actual part of the tent. Mesh doors directly in front of you, which you can see, which works really quite nicely. And by having that door open, it opens up, and you can really get a feel for the tent itself. Nice big crystal clear window to get through there. And then there's the additional bedroom, which comes, as uh, sorry, the standard bedroom that comes included with nine for extra sleeping points and then of course you can actually um, open the door at the back there uh, or remove that and if you want an extra amount of storage by all means good to you. By on the roof line I mean you do decrease the height a little bit you can probably see from there how much you kind of are losing it's more like the beam height so it's probably the best part of sort of 10 centimeters in the overall height of it but you can use the kind of up down lighters as you can see here well, it's going to flood light into the tent and you can all extra storage pockets. It can go onto the tubes if you really want to as well. Depth for the bedroom you can see is a bit darker, but there's a little bit of lighter fabric on there, so it's not going to be completely, completely blackout. But you can actually have a bit more of a better depth down there as well. And then you've got the storage pockets and zip dividers. So it feels purely like a different bedrooms for you. Little hanging points located. And I'll show you that little pockets down here actually as well. So you can see that little, little zip. So that's your cable entry points directly in. You do have them on the tent as well. Um, so you've got one sort of located to the front there for your main hookup, but you can essentially leave that door open a, a smidge where it joins up at the bottom left corner if you really wanted to. And then again, you've got the additional kind of part here. Built-in windows is going to be more used as sort of a, live, a storage section. And there's a wardrobe pole that comes included as standard. And again, cable entry as well. So you can put things like your fridge and stuff like that out the way. So you haven't got to worry about it too much. As we kind of come round, we probably appreciate the kind of the double side parts. So you again, so you've got the main picture tent, which is like a four and a half meters, and it comes out, I think, a further 120, 140, he says. So around the region, I'll check the floor pan uh, via the link below in a bit. But overall, really quite nice model. There's been a big, big uh, hit really with everyone who wants that big tent but not necessarily and wants separate sleeping pods without going to uh, the likes of an actual pro, a pure podded tent. Um, but overall I think quite a nice idea. I think the, the, addition, the new improvements with the ground sheet I think is a big bonus and then the inflatable uh, side parts are really I, I think a nice movement forward. Um, but yeah that's kind of a little video review on kind of the Airedale 9 DSC in total. I think for me it ticks a lot of boxes. It does what it wants to do. For those families who kind of want that premium space in polyester, I think for me, it gives a big old tick box. The only thing to consider, of course, is pack size and pack weight, naturally being as brutally big as it is. Um, but tents all those days, these days are kind of quite hefty anyway. So definitely a trailer or fill back of the car job. For more information, feel free to check the link below this video. It goes through our information where our website is. Essentially has all the pack sizes, individual features listed for you, um, floor dimensions, extras you can buy for it. So they're all listed there as well as other videos about pitching and packing you can check out as well. So feel free to have a look at that as well as package deals that we do offer on the tent itself. 
by all means, let us know what you think of it. We'd love to hear from you guys. So comment in the box below or contact us directly if any questions, queries or concerns regarding the tent. But thank you very much for watching and hopefully we shall see you again soon.